Hello YouTube, I'm Toby and today I'm going to teach you how to make a Counter-Strike Global Offensive map. Now, keep in mind that this tutorial is not meant to be a end-all guide to how you do every specific little fun function in the game. Uh, this is just the basic uh, how-to, um, just to make a basic basic map, uh, teaching you the uh, basic mechanics of the uh, hammer editor we'll be using today. I will be uh, recording off my screen because I don't have any uh, desktop capture uh, equipment. Now first off you want to go to your Steam games, uh, well your Steam library. You want to go up uh, under library, tools, you want to press tools, you want to scroll down or up depending on where you are. And here we go, here is the Counter-Strike Global Offensive SDK. Uh, you're going to want to install this and then just double click it and it will uh, start up. Now once the uh, once you get to this window right right here you wanna double click on hammer editor and the whole thing will just uh, start up on its own. Alright so now we're in uh, hammer editor you wanna go up in the left corner press file uh, new and you'll get this screen right here you wanna go to map press entity report go to and just close this go up to your camera and use 3d textured just like that alright to make a to start making your map you want to press this this is the block tool right here and uh, over here on the uh, browse side you can just uh, type in anything you want I want some floor and uh, I did not do that very well alright try again floor and it will pop out right here, uh, we want this kind of floor make sure you have your um, block tool enabled and you can use the scroll wheel to uh, adjust the uh, size of your grids and you can just make a uh, square right there press enter and then you can use a WASD and your arrow keys to um, navigate this little camera view up here now let's make some walls, I'll just type in wall and there we go, just take a basic wall right here and now we can just add walls around here like that I want mine four blocks uh, high you can go up to the um, little arrow right here, press this just that way it will make maintain the uh, size uh, not sure how to explain it but uh, once you try this out you'll know what I mean just like that, we've made a nice uh, square right here. Alright, time to add some uh, things inside the map. Let's try metal. And you just want to choose the uh, skin you want. I'm just going with this one. And we'll start making some spawns. Now, I want this right here to be my first uh, spawn. I'll get into the whole spawning thing uh, afterwards. Right now I'm just going to place some blocks over here to fill out the map. Alright, so as you can see now we've placed a bunch of uh, little walls in here. Now let's uh, add some uh, players to this. In order to add players you want to press the um, entity tool over here and you'll just press on the map. And we can see just like that we have three guys right here. Uh, these are by default uh, terrorists, so we're gonna have to change these to uh, to counter terrorists. You want to put them at uh, one block above their starting point, or they might not uh, work probably. And you just want to right click, go to properties, and you can see right here info underscore player underscore terrorist. Want to press here, scroll up a little bit, and info player underscore counter terrorist. Just press apply and cancel that. And you can see that they've been changed to uh, counter terrorists. Alright, let's place some terrorists over here. We got a terrorist. Just want to raise them up with one block. Alright, let's uh, create a, a buy zone. To create a buy zone, you just press your block tool, go to browse, type in trigger. And once you've done that, you just want to place your buy zone wherever you want it. I want this whole 
side right here to be a bisome, you want to make sure that the bisome is large enough. Also, you'll get a hang of this once you try it out. Then you want to, well, yeah, um, mark it up. You can right click or press Control T. Well, I actually think we have we're gonna have to press Control T on this one. You can see funk underscore detail, and you just wanna go up until you find funk underscore bisome. You wanna press that, and since this is by also by default uh, terrorist, so this is all right. Just uh, press apply, and wanna create one for the counter terrorists. Now the one for the counter terrorists is. Uh, a little bit different. We're gonna have to uh, adjust some things right here. But anyway, we press Control Control T, and we go up here, find our bisome, just like that. You want to press Apply again, and then you want to go into Team Number, and in here you can change which team uh, can access the bisome. By default, it's terrorists. You can set it to all teams or just counter terrorists if that's what you want. Press Apply and cancel, and then that's done. Alright, right in here in the middle I want a, uh, bomb, a bomb target area. So we just, yeah, mark it up, press enter, control T, and then we can go up a little bit further, bomb underscore target is the one, you just want to press apply and cancel. And of course we're going to need some roof, uh, you want your map to be completely, uh, well, closed off or you're going to have trouble. Let's try a skybox. I'm not sure which one of these is the right one, so you know what, we'll just type in something else. Roof. And there we go, we have a roof. I'll just use this one, and you want to mark up the entire area right here. Just like that, and of course you want it above your map, or people are going to get stuck in there. And press enter. Alright, now we have a nice little box right here we have our map inside it with our bisomes, our uh, entities and our bomb target now you want to save it, uh, I'll just call mine test underscore map underscore test you want to press save and then to compile the map you press your F9 key and you just press OK and uh, it will then um, compile the map and it will launch into Counter-Strike Global Offensive and we're in our map just like that let's try some SNGs, Bison and just like that and that is pretty much how you make a uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive map if you have any questions to this uh, just ask me in the comment section I'll get back to you as soon as I can Keep in mind that I am very new to this, so I may not be able to uh, answer all of your questions. Alright, so that was my tutorial on making a Counter-Strike Global Offensive map. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, just ask me. And uh, thank, thank you very much for watching.